Good morning. Are false Christs and false teachers coming? They were looking at Mark chapter 13, verse 21 through 23. Then if anyone says to you, look, here is the Christ, or look, he's there, do not believe it. For false Christs and false prophets will rise and show signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. But take heed, see, I have told you all things beforehand. So, are false Christs and false prophets coming? Yes. Will they show signs and wonders? Yes. Does it say the signs and wonders will be false? No. See, these will very likely be, why wouldn't they be? These will be supernatural signs. They will look persuasive because they will be things that are inexplicable. You cannot explain them by science or any other thing. These will be, some of them at least, perhaps will be actual supernatural signs. Some may just be deceptions. But false Christs and false prophets are going to come, and they're going to they're gonna throw the special effects right at you. And so what's interesting here is that uh, we're told it's coming. We're told ahead of time. Jesus goes out of his way to tell us, this is, I'm telling you now, because this, this is coming, so I'm telling you now. So what is the purpose of these signs and wonders that Jesus tells us? The purpose is to deceive. Okay, so they're going to be very persuasive to us. And as I said, I think they'll be real. They'll just be demonic, that's all. So the signs and wonders, in other words, are what? They are credentials. They are the credentials of these false prophets. They're going to say, look, it's supernatural, isn't it? And people will have to say, yes, it's supernatural. And basically, that's going to act as their credentials. Here we are, we're, we're doing this in a supernatural basis. You need to listen to us. We have authority because we're coming from, from God above to tell you what to do. Now, Jesus says, very interesting, Jesus says here, the elect will not be deceived. How can that be? I mean, these are actual supernatural signs. How do you keep from being deceived by that? And the answer is, is this. This is your answer. The elect are going to be people who are getting into the Bible. The Bi they're putting the Bible into their mind. We know what's here. We know what the directions are. We know what the prophecies are. We know what they say. We know how to correctly interpret the Bible. And so Jesus is telling us that there will be a group of people who won't be deceived, even though these are actual signs. And, and I'm telling you, the way that we'll get there, the way that we will prevail, praise God, and we will prevail, will be because we'll know this word. How are we going to know this word? Unless we're listening to it, reading it, studying it, being into the word day by day, while the elect will be. Now, some people have a trouble. They don't want to get into the Bible, or they feel like they're too busy. You know what? Play it off your phone on the way to work. Uh, get a CD. Uh, whatever it takes, but if you just can only listen to it, it when you're driving to and from somewhere, do that. But let's take and begin every day with the Bible. We need to be Bible people. That way we can be the elect, and we won't be deceived. Praise the Lord. There's one other piece that's quite interesting in this little passage that we looked at, and that is that uh, it puts together side by side false Christ and false prophets. So we look for false Christs and false prophets, and you might say, well, you know, people seem like they're always looking for the Antichrist, this false Christ figure. And yes, that's fine. That's, that's important. But notice that they're put side by side here. False prophets will be one of the key things. And also in the New Testament, we see several places where we have false teachers. So I would look uh, for a uh, multiplicity of false teachers and false Christs. Uh, false prophets, the whole piece there. And yet we will not be deceived because why? Because God has given us his word. So that is a blessing for us. Let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, we're looking at some intense parts of the Gospel of Mark. Thank you for uh, helping us to look at these without fear, but with faith. We know that remarkable times are coming. Lord, we can be, and it is your desire for us to be, and you are fully ready, equipping us so that we'll be ready for these things that are coming. Help us to be men and women of faith. Uh, when these things are coming. Lord, watch over us. Thank you for hearing our prayers. Bring it on. Not, not, not that we expect it in our strength, Lord, but in your grace and in your power, you will get us through. So bring it on. Thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. So, be a Bible Christian. Be among the many elect who will not be deceived. God be with you today.